During the Book 11 Shopping Festival, we have observed the high growth rate of live stream e-commerce and traffic dilution from traditional e-commerce platforms, including Alibaba's Taobao. Even, can you explain what live stream e-commerce is and how it works? Live stream e-commerce refers to the real-time online selling phenomenon conducted by internet influencers in their live streaming showroom in China. This new shopping method emerged in 2019 and quickly spread across China in 2020 when consumers could not go to shopping malls but look for an immersive shopping experience. By the end of 2020, the GMV of live streaming e-commerce is already above 1 trillion RMB. Led by China, the phenomenon is also taking off in other countries. In Singapore, an e-commerce startup Mundata just launched its physical live streaming hub and generated more than 2 million US dollar sales in just two months. In the United States, Twitter recently announced to launch the live stream shopping function with Walmart as its first client. What are the potential risks and rewards for consumer companies to sell through live stream e-commerce? The biggest benefit of selling through live stream e-commerce is the easy acquisition of buyers. During the Double Eleven Shopping Festival, top live streamers like Via and Austin Lee both had nearly 250 million people watching their live streaming shows. Consumer brands can reach such a large scale of potential buyers by signing a single agreement with top live streamers. However, there are many two major risks if the company relies too much on top live streamers. First, the key person risk of top live streaming celebrities. As the Chinese government tend to regulate this industry, several top live streamers were banned due to tax evasion and the sale of products without safety certification. Consumer brands might be affected if they have exclusive contracts with any of them. Second, the loss of pricing power to top celebrities. As top celebrities can attract huge traffic, they tend to be very strong in pricing to make sure they can get the best deal to increase their competitiveness. Therefore, consumer brands can only make a very thin margins, with some even make losses if they choose to sell with top live streamers. This may disrupt the current distribution channel and pricing mechanism of consumer companies. Therefore, it is crucial for consumer brands who have their own traffic to keep the price and distribution under control. In our portfolio, the domestic consumer brand Proya started to establish its own live streaming rooms and live streamers as early as 2019. During the Double Eleven Shopping Festival, the GMV of their Tmall flagship store more than doubled with Douyin live streaming as the second largest source of revenue. The HSC China Fund's ambition is to hold the best 25 Chinese companies based on their inner strength, valuation, and relative attractiveness. Having a self-built e-commerce channel is one of the criteria of inner strength for consumer companies. We will continue to look for attractive consumer brands and include them in our portfolio. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the next episode.